Kevin Ellip on set from ksound.com. Let's talk a little bit about animation in Studio One 4. Okay, so I have this, this waveform. It really doesn't matter, waveform. It can be MIDI, but in this case, what we're gonna do is add a mix tool. Show you guys how animation works inside of Studio One. So I'm at this mix tool because I want to achieve a certain effect, right? So let me play this one. This is a riser, by the way. Right, so I want that riser. As a matter of fact, we can solo it. So I want the riser to be, uh, have a little rhythmic going on. What I'm gonna do here is select the the gain button and if you were paying attention you'll notice that things change at the upper left it says gain I'm gonna take this little hand here drop it on the wave itself and it automatically selected my animation lane for the game I could do something like this I could use side chaining but I decide to use automation here so I could just I do something like this and take you know, just create a node for what I'm trying to do. And then come right here above it. And then raise the automation here. So my goal is to make this sound drop in and out. Let's go. Let's come back. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put an anchor here so that we can start at the same spot all the time. Right, something like that is what I was trying to do, but that is the long way, and that's how I used to do things in the past. Studio One has a cool automation, uh, automation tools that they have. We'll go here for the square tool. And by the way, while we here, there's different tools you can use. You can have this one here. You can just click and drag to wherever you gotta go, or to wherever you want to go. And it does it automatically, right? And then you can always come back and uh, let's see, change the tool to the selector tool and make fine adjustments, right? You can do it like that, or you can select another tool. If you want a line tool, you can do that. That's essentially, well, no, I was gonna say that's how I created this fade but I just came off of the edge of the region and pulled it in. What I want is the square tool and the triangle does the same thing. And because we are in 16, 116, which is the resolution, I can create everything in 16. So while I'm still clicked down, you know, it's either way, however you want. All right, so I'm going I'm to go to one apes here so that we can create one apes. You can always select the transform to select everything right here. And then we can we can stretch this here. You know, I don't want it to be so defined yet. So I say right, right by right there. All right. Take those, delete that. I'm going to take this section right here. And we're going to move these two here. Go back to my tool, my animation tool, and create some more here. Let's do it again, but this time we'll give it a stretch. 
So that's not what I want. So let's do it again. And this time we're going to go the opposite way. The thing that's tricky about this is that like. When you select everything, it's going to select the region as well. So when I hit duplicate, it's going to duplicate the entire region. I haven't quite figured out how to avoid duplicating the region with the animation. But what I've been doing was just I'll just take that behind it and just delete, just delete it. I believe there is a way, so I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I may have done it before. But for right now, this is what we are doing. So, right, so that's that's kind of what I want to do. So we're going to take the selector tool again. And just kind of duplicate it all the way across. I'm going to come out of the animation mode, delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that, right? I just want to delete that. I didn't mean to do that. But the cool thing about this is all your regions are non-destructive so okay so let's unsolo this so now what i want to do here is switch gears go to the next animation tool which is called transform and the cool thing about this is it's just really cool. So I selected everything here and now I can do things like this. I can do slopes or I can adjust the entire thing. So say that. Say I wanted to start off subtle and then kind of build into a more intense. Right, something like that. Um, and then if 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 I wanted to stretch it backwards and forwards, like you know, timing wise, I can do that. I can move it up and down, which is pretty dope. But that's not what I'm trying to do. So the other cool thing is, like you noticing how it gets smaller at the end. Like there's like a beef in the middle. Like that's it's really cool. I can make it a little subtle at the end, but I think what I want to do is deactivate. Well, I want to take out. Let's see. Right. I like that a whole lot better. So. This is kind of what I'll trying to achieve so if we come out of here let's deactivate my anchor here and then come out some Right. That's cool. That's what I wanted to achieve. I could have used side chain. Sometimes I use side chain before this. I thought it was cool. Um, I can work within the same region without needing a second channel, create another sound to duck and dive or whatever. But I think this was this is great for for this for this this type of idea. And then finally the 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 reason why I will put animation on a mix tool or a mix or a gain tool like I think in Logic it's called gain, but 
it's to avoid messing with my volume because I want to still be able to adjust my volume. So so while I'm doing all the cool things on a plugin, I can still turn down my volume here. Right. All right. So that's all I have right now. Um, Seem like this should be something everybody know about, but this is one of those things that Studio One can do. And a lot of people still don't know about the power behind Studio One. Um, but anyway, I'm out of here. Again, my name is Ella. Remember, music is art. You're the artist. Thank your picture. Remember to stay creative without rules, guys. Enroll right now and unleash the creativity that lies within you. KU.creative.com. Creative University. Stay creative without rules. One more thing. If this voice intrigue you and the music make your soul move, my name is Ella. Thank you. <laughs> I'm done.